Ladies and gentlemen, Chris oh, King oh. of Fighting the Phoenix in the building! Give me a hell yeah! Look it up. Give me a hell yeah! What's up, dude? <laughs> How you been, buddy? Dude, I am cold. It is so cold here. It was like negative eight last night. Where Where are you right now exactly? Uh, Colorado Springs. We just came back from Florida like two weeks ago. I miss it already. I, that's what I want to start off with. Talk to me about what it was like. First of all, if you could please properly introduce yourself um, and plug or promote anything you'd like. Gotcha. My name's Chris King from uh, a metalcore band, Fighting the Phoenix. We just uh, recorded a new record at uh, the Audio Compound with Andrew Wade and Andy Karpovic. So we got that. We're waiting on our master to come back right now, and it's, it's amazing. I'm so excited. And you guys did like you guys did like pre production and everything with with him, correct? Yeah, Dude. everything. Uh, well, the pre production we already like pre write our demos. We bring them there, and then we just pretty much dissect it together. Well, so what was it like working with Andrew? Like, did you did you learn any like tips and tricks as far as maybe like recording yourself as a band, or what's something that you took away with like knowledge wise that uh, something he did, that he taught you? Well, for the crazy, like the craziest part about it is we worked with Andy most of the time. Andrew Wade is pretty much like the overseer of the project because he's dealing with bigger bands like Magnolia Bark and stuff like that. So for us, it was crazy being like a state of the art studio, but we pretty much were working with his right hand man the entire time who is just as talented. And then Andrew Wade is pretty much a part of like the post production process and stuff. So we're waiting to hear that. But besides that, we were in the same studio pretty much the entire time with him. The boys of ADTR practiced there, and like we were running into Neil like every day. It was a definitely a humbling experience. That is amazing, hell yeah! I think stuck on the sidelines is the first time I heard of of your band, so I want to start with that one. Um, I know this is a little bit of an old one going back a ways, but uh, can you talk about this particular record? uh stuck on the sidelines like this record itself uh it was a single and uh zach and i wrote it when you watch the video you can see it's more like an interve intervention pretty much trying to tell somebody like you know we won't give up on you don't give up on yourself like showing that there's support around you you know like zach's not here to say it. he's had his problems you know down the road of like you know alcohol we've all had our own problems including me so we're trying to reach back to the people and, you know, give the heart of metalcore. That's what it is to us. It's like, if there's no heart in metalcore, then why are we doing it? Hell yeah. Yo, amen. Amen to that, brother. I agree. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Hanging out with Chris King. Fighting the Phoenix. Oh, it's so good to be here. Did you work with a, a local producer in Colorado for the most part prior to obviously going yeah, to, to Orlando? Can you hear me? No, I, I can hear you. I didn't hear the part you said about the producer. Oh, I was just wondering uh, who who produced uh, the tracks before going to to Andrew. Uh, Droid's rec recording studio here in Colorado Springs. It consists of Don uh, sorry, man, my words right now. I'm tired. It's uh, Devin Schmidt and Tommy Evans of Droid's recording studio. They record us and a lot of the other bands here locally to the area. Yeah, because the production is solid. It's it's really like in your face solid for sure uh what do the boys do to pass the time when you guys have like a lot of downtime when you when you were in florida what did you do to pass the time did, do you guys binge watch shows or play any kind of games like maybe you smoke oh, smoke a little a couple of doobies every day. <laughs> um we didn't really have a whole lot of downtime out there i mean we got most of our downtime on like sundays so we watched football as a band you know i'm a chargers fan sorry um it's okay <laughs> We watched football, and then when we got AFC, to so that's studio, cool. we had like five days left out there, so we crammed the beach, all of the Disney stuff into that last week. Besides that, we were just waking up early, getting off late, and then making band dinners and watching like movies, Peacemaker, Witcher, stuff like that, just kind of bonding. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, Mikey, what you got for Chris? Yep. Um, main musical influence, like what got you into it? Vocally, honestly, I 
really, really loved a lot of like deathcore metalcore when I was like younger. Like Suicide Silence is a big one. Chelsea Grin. Um, oh. Man, there there's so many, and then like combine that with the metalcore influences of like Memphis Mayfire, Bless the Fall, Mice and Men, and just kind of kicked off the road from there. Hell yeah, dude. Let's play uh let's play the endless night next. Can you talk about this song? Oh. Uh this one came off a Game of Thrones EP. We wrote it um accumulatively because of the ten year anniversary. We're huge nerds like that. We love Game of Thrones and uh we figured why not give it out there. This song's about the Night King and uh the Battle of Winterfell. And uh props to Scott Rudd for doing this one. It's makes it a lot cooler than we are. I love it. It's heavier too. This is where you can see a lot of the Deathcore influences come out. You're giving me juice now. I've, I'm gonna. I've already queued up some Game of Thrones <laughs> trivia, so we're gonna test you here in a little bit. Fighting the Phoenix, the Endless oh, man, Night. I wish the rest of the dudes were here. <laughs> you might know it. You might know it. If you do, we'll give you a spin on the wheel, and uh, you could win a prize. But more, you'll more than likely you'll end up torturing me. Hell yeah! Once you guys, once you guys have the the masters in hand, what is there anything you can tell us about the next step? Is it gonna be a single right away? music video what's what's the what's the plan for the rest of 2022 tons of marketing uh videos promotional content we're really really trying to catch attention with it like i mean i want to do this you know for my career i've been working over a decade to get this far with ability and so is everybody else i mean covid for us we just spent the entire time honing in on gear abilities everything and working our band as a business so, I mean, I, I can't wait to put it out personally. We put out, most of it's metalcore, but we've made a hardcore metalcore fusion, a deathcore fusion with it. We even wrote a rock song just to like kind of put it all together in one tasty album, I guess you could say. We still haven't named it yet either because we're waiting to get that final mix back. Yeah, you got to jam it a couple times and let it kind of name itself, I feel like. Let it marinate yeah. for a little bit exactly. and the band will be like, I got it! And it'll just come to you and it'll be perfect. Hell yeah. Before yeah, we we're leaning towards a lot of things, man. Like we got pillars, redefined, monument. We got so many ideas in our head for an album name. Hell yeah, well, I can't wait to hear it when it's time. Uh before we review some bands together and do some trivia, what is one song in your catalog we have to hear? That you have to hear. Oh man, do you guys want like newer or old? Or you want rock? What, what your you want? call, whatever you'd like. Are we listening to the whole song? <laughs> I'm only uh, asking because there's a really nasty breakdown at the end of one of them. We probably won't play the whole song, but I'll, I'll make sure to get to that part so we hear it. We absolutely we got to hear the breakdown. We love the breakdown. Innocence, soft element, innocence, like the very very last breakdown. It's just, oh, I love it. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. That one got me on my seat, dude. Fuck yeah. You weren't you weren't lying. <laughs> Hell yeah. That last scream though. <laughs> That's good yes. stuff. All right, let's the review. High fry. Let's uh let's review some bands together and then I'll I'll queue up a Game of Thrones trivia question in just a second. Now these are artists of any genre from anywhere. Some of them we've heard before, some of them we've never ever heard before. Start off with full frontal lobotomy. Let's go get. F I got this cool ass ring light, guys. Look at this shit. It just attaches to my phone and changes colors. It's so cool. That is super cool. Wow. <laughs> the thing's five dollars a watch sometimes. Dude, I love the Wish app, man. In too. Hell yeah. Full frontal. Got enough yays to get the in. Fucking snare though. I know that's. I know. <laughs> that snare is brutal. Bing. I like it. Uh, <laughs> next is gonna be. Sure. Hey, dude, are um, you are you a gamer? I haven't been too much. I mean, I did play the hell out of that new Pokemon game, though. Oh, yeah. Switch all day. For sure. I'm more of an Xbox guy, but uh, I will probably have to buy my son a Switch fairly soon, I would imagine. Worth it. Mikey, what's your game? So worth it. Uh, I've been playing uh, Splatoon a lot lately in Mario Kart. I, yeah, I'm a Switch gamer, too. I was on Mario Golf for a while. But I kind of fell Mario off. Golf. Yeah. Yes. Super addicting. <laughs> the next yeah. one is uh is gonna be Dino Skate Park. 
Yeah. I'm using my one automatic of the day. I'm putting them in. I thought that was cool. Dino Skate Park with, what's the name of it? Patchwork. Patchwork, yeah. yeah. Patchwork. Hell yeah. All right, I got your trivia question queued up, Chris. Here we go. Let's see if you can get it. In Game of Thrones, the King's Guard are said to be the finest knights in all of the Seven Kingdoms. But how many knights are in the King's Guard? Specifically, Robert's King's Guard. Does it look like I can count? I, I know they're the gold clothes. Man, I can't count. You kidding me? We'll see if somebody <laughs> in chat can get it, but. I have no idea. <laughs> we'll see if anybody in chat can get that one. No worries. Yeah, I'm out too. I have no clue. I've never been asked that question. They're, they're 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 tough questions, dude. Dex score. That was pretty cool. I like that a lot. Who's that one was called? Who's yeah, fault? Dude, they're sick. That's officially a stump. Nobody in chat got gotcha, that one. Bitch. Seven. <laughs> there are seven king's guards who have no children or wives. Their only job is to serve the king. I'm gonna give you a bonus trivia question to try to redeem yourself, sir. Here we go. Jamie Lannister was given a special nickname after he slew he'd slain King Arius Tarragon, earning him what nickname? Targaryen. It's the Kingslayer. That is correct! Hell yeah! Let's go! Give me a hell yeah! Let's go! Let's go! What's another Fighting the Phoenix song? What's the another Fighting the Phoenix song that you would like us to play? While the wheel is being spun. And I'd like you guys to play. Um, it's the first rock song we ever took a swing at. Let's try uh, Five Years Gone. It's a rock song. Cool. Five Years Gone heard. Mikey, bust out your impressions here in a second. Oh, hell yeah, it's solid, dude. It's definitely it's a, a solid rock song for sure. It's a rock yeah, song. Yeah, it is. That's a rock anthem right there. It's a rock Sometimes song. Sometimes you just gotta rock, brother. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, Mikey? Do you have your impression prepared? Whatever that may be. I could, I could try to do Arnold. I guess. Go for it. Arnold, get to the chopper. Yo, tango John Connor. <laughs> Who is your dad, and what does he do? <laughs> Who is your it's daddy? It's not a tumor. Daddy. <laughs> Chris, do you have any good impressions that you could bust out? The governor. Let me think here. Oh, man, I've been working on my cart one. I don't know if I can do it anymore, though. Deck my bag, huh? <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home. Deck my bag, huh? That's actually pretty good. Cargo with I Get High. Chris, if the whole band just played the best show of their entire life and they're partying for some reason tonight, the shots are out, the beers are out, who is standing last? Who can out-party everybody else? All day. That's you? I'm an animal. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking animal. Yes. I don't understand it. Like, I really don't. I'm like the tiniest guy in the van, but for some some reason, I just, I go hard. I can dig it. <laughs> we got a party sometime. <laughs> Miss Shell's yeah. music with Level Up is next. Miss Shell's with Level Up. I'll say yay. Oh, uh, what happened to, uh... What happened to Chris? Uh, yeah, we lost Chris. Dang it. Oh, there we go. Chris, where'd you go? Maybe his phone died or something. We lost there you. He hey. Oh, there we go. It's cold, it, it's cold outside, and we keep losing connection every now and again. It's, like, really cold outside. Oh, shit. What are you at, like, like 20 go. degrees, 15 degrees right now? Day. I think it's, like, 3 right now. Whoa. We just got hit wow. with like a snowstorm, I swear. Jack Jack Frost is not happy with us here. Dang. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we do this? Why don't we play... Why don't we do Falto as the last one so we actually have like a visual to go with it? This is this is also off okay. the off the uh, Game of Thrones one, right? Because it has like that kind of... Uh, no, this is off of Element. I mean, do you guys want like Game of Thrones or do you want Dodgeball, though? Ooh, let's do Dodgeball. Yeah, one of each. 
What's the dodgeball one? Reflections. It's our dodgeball video. I don't think I've ever seen that one. <laughs> it's all about dodgeball. I have not ever seen this. Here we go. Fighting the Phoenix Reflections. Give me a hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. I thought of a good question. When when you ran dodgeball. into when you when you ran into uh, a day to remember, did you guys and you said you hung out with them often? Did you ask if possibly you could get a feature? Uh, we never saw Jeremy out of all the people. We saw a lot of their bandmates there, but I mean, I think they were really working on a lot of their like gear and stuff. I mean, they just canceled their tour, like postponed it in Belgium, but for the most part, they were doing like a lot of gear days and working on their Kemper. Neil, Neil was the one who was there like all the time, but I mean, he was always working on like their rig. And I'm pretty sure it's, I'm not sure why to be honest. Is there is there an artist that you have in mind that you would like or and or prefer to have a feature on one of your tracks someday? Yes, absolutely. Um, we couldn't afford to hire Franz. He's too expensive. So, um, I mean, we went with one of our buddies who's in a deathcore band, which is pretty cool. But if I could choose anybody right now, I would definitely choose Will Ramos of Lorna Shore. Good call. Because he's an animal. Absolute beast. Yeah, Fuck. He's an absolute animal. Yeah, dude. He's we, killing it. We've tried to get him on and he's ignored all our requests, but we'll keep we'll keep working at it and we'll see what we can do. But um hell yeah. <laughs> well, Chris, man, we're so excited about uh you get you getting the masters, all the new stuff coming out, man. I absolutely can't wait to hear it. I've been a fan for many years now. Um please, 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 when the music video is ready, send it to me so we can jam it, re re review it, get it out to the people, whatever we can do to help, man. But we really appreciate you um, spending some time with us today, giving some insight on the on the new tunes coming out soon, and just being an awesome dude. Well, thank you, thank you. I think you're awesome too. Pretty pretty stand-up guy over there. Ah, oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, brother. Hell yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day, Chris. Oh, boys. Chris King of Fighting the Phoenix! Yeah, hell yeah! Hell yeah.